So the first thing I think would be a great idea to get the kids involved would be the old game of noughts and crosses or tic-tac-toe. And all you need is a square, doesn't matter what size, a square of plywood divided into three. The way I do that is put the corner of a ruler against one edge and spin the ruler until I get something divisible by three. That's 180 there. So I've put a mark at 60 and 120. And the same on this side. Put a mark at 60 and 120. And I'll get a square. Look, it doesn't even have to be exact. It doesn't matter. But it's just a great way of getting people involved on a non-threatening exercise that they'll have hours of fun with. Now you can see that I've actually drawn that with a pencil. You can freehand it if you like and that just requires a steady hand. As you can see the tip is now hot. The first one I'll do I'll try freehand. Get comfortable at your bench and I prefer dragging it down but even there I can see I'm starting to wander a bit now I've, I've moved moved out of hand movement so I've got to move the piece up or drop my hand back one or the other but you need to steady your wrist on the mat I've got a bit of the, the wobblies here but believe me, if someone has never done woodwork before, they're going to enjoy it. And that doesn't matter if it's not dead straight. All right. So there's the first slide. Not dead straight, but not too bad. Now you could use a ruler. Trouble if you use a metal ruler, what happens is the heat will go out of the tip very, very quickly because it will be drawn into the metal. Now I'll do a line down here. Okay, I'm moving pretty slowly. And if you look, I've got no burn there at all. That's because the heat of the tip has been pulled out by the metal in the ruler. Now you could use another piece of plywood, but you'll find also that will have a tendency to pull the heat out. So we'll go see if we can go at the same speed. Okay, well that's not too bad. At least I've got a line there. But it's not as dark as this one. So what I've got is a, a very thin piece of ply with this. Um, there's one called aeroplane ply and, and this is 1.5 mil ply. Or a piece of veneer. This is 0.6 of a mil. We'll try the veneer first. And then we'll try the plywood. Put the back of the bit up against the plywood. And slowly draw down. And if you look at that, I've got a darker line there. This line here, uh, this line here, it's darker than this one that we did against the ruler. Now I use the plywood and we'll see how we go. I think plywood's the way to go. But we'll find out. Hmm. 
Okay. There's six of one, half a dozen the other. I did find that the veneer, I was keeping a lot more heat in the tip, but I was losing a bit of heat out of the veneer, out of the plywood. But if you look there, I've got a little burn there on the plywood, but if you look here, I've burnt all the way along the veneer. So I think it's just horses for courses and see what you think. I'm going to continue with the plywood to finish this off. And if you make sure that the back of the tool isn't touching the plywood, you're not going to lose as much heat, I don't think. What I'll do, I'll turn that... I'll just turn it up to 10 to see if makes any difference. Okay, that made a lot of difference. This line here, I did at 10, you can see how bright the tip is. So if you're going to be using a straight edge out of timber, I would suggest you turn it up to 10. And we'll just do this one. See if you can get a steady pace going. Not much smoke coming off. Well, there you go. I learned something too. So if you're going to use a straight edge, as we did here, plywood. I prefer the plywood to the veneer because the veneer is very soft. Plywood works well. Turn it up to 10. So there's your board. The other thing I did, I cut squares. These here. And what I'm gonna do there is just put crosses on five of them and Circles on five of them. We'll keep two spare in case we mess up. Now, bearing in mind, I'm not the neatest person when it comes to drawing. But here goes. So we've got five crosses, now we'll do five circles. As I said, I'm not the neatest, I'll turn that off. There you have Oh look I won! I didn't even cheat and I won. Honestly, I think if you made something like that, or get the kids to make it, they will just have hours of fun, and it gets them away from the controllers and everything. Cost nothing, do it out of some scrap. There you go, great little game.